you guys, what's up? It's Reese from Spressatora Cane Corso. I am out here, special surprise, the puppies. Look guys, look how much they've grown. They're getting so big. Um, so, the last two weeks have been insane. Um, basically, I know you guys have heard that I am gonna be taking on um, three litters at once. <laughs> And it's gonna get really crazy. So, um, I've actually been working on um, a building that we have outside. That we, um, it's air. It has air conditioning. It has heat. It's insulated. It's really nice. It's got linoleum floors. And um, I've been working like a little busy bee in there because. If we're going to have three litters, we have to do it right. <laughs> um, so they will be, the plan is that the litters will be whelped in the home. I do not, we do not whelp litters in the outdoor whelping space outside. We don't do that. Um, because I like to be able to um, be right there with my litters when they're the first three weeks. Um, so they have to kind of be wean, weaning, um, walking, eyes open, to be moved out into the, um, I'm going to call it the puppy shed, the converted puppy shed. Um, so anyway, the litter will be born indoors. All the litters will, like always. Um, I'll keep them until they are ready. Um, to make the transition and when I make the transition they'll be um, you know around the clock care for them they'll get their out time exposure they still all the same stuff the kids the chickens and the sensitizing um, so I have been extremely busy trying to get that ready because Melina is in estrus right now so Trinity will be coming in and we suspect the Tawny to be coming in very soon after. So we're probably going to ship all three back to Virginia at the same time. It's going to get crazy, but I told Rachel, if there's a will, there's a way I can handle it. I'm professional puppy raiser. <laughs> I'm pretty damn good at what I do. Um, so the last time you guys seen these babies, which... Um, I wasn't on, so sorry. Um, but it wasn't much to see, you know. They were still slopping and slithering around. They were sleeping a lot. There wasn't much going on. So the past two weeks, of course, their eyes have started to... It's like two and a half weeks. The eyes have opened. They started getting more mobile. Um, I weaned them. So pretty much they are almost completely weaned. Um, they had their first warming at two weeks. Um, tomorrow they are, they will be four weeks old, so they're going to get their four-week warming. I'll probably do it today, actually. Just go ahead and knock it out while it's on my mind. Um, but surprise, surprise, that so we were born black, and then we started turning black brindle. So, um... We have some, look at that marble brindle. She's like, her coat is like the prettiest brindling I've ever seen. So we have this beautiful brindle brindle girl. So you can kind of see the difference. The true brindle pups are very brindle. It's like a marbling almost. So you have the brindle and then you have what's called a black brindle where the dog is mostly black with a little bit of brindling and the brindling is almost like white on the black brindle and right now they, they're in puppy coat so as they mature it'll get much prettier it won't be so fluffy it'll be shiny and um all of that jazz but anyway i love the heads on these babies they're very healthy babies they eat very well they're drinking water very well they're active they're doing all the normal things that I, I like to see um I started adding toys to the box recently just to kind of give them 
different texture, little noises, sounds, stuff like that. So that, that is what's going on with this over here currently. Um, Kuma Boy is back. Picked him up. <laughs> I've been photobombing on Instagram lately, but he is back. Jade is doing very well. She's an excellent mother. Kuma Boy. I'm trying to get him to listen because he... He, he picks and chooses when he wants to listen, but he is a big puppy. I gotta take him to go get his rabies shot soon. I'm gonna get it early to knock it out the way before I get it, before I get tied up. So I'm gonna be very, very tied up. But I'm gonna get, don't worry, I know I'm not like the best at YouTube, but I am, I do um, go live on my whelps. I've been pretty good about that, guys. So, and you know, I've taken this video when it's mattered. And this is a big surprise because these babies are moving around. They're healthy. They've all survived so far. So, look at the cuteness. And I'm going to try to post some pictures of them on Instagram this week. Um, so, not only is that going on, but you guys, I made a, kind of a random purchase. I, I purchased a uh, male from some real old Italian blood. He's black. He's beautiful. Um, we'll know for sure, a hundred percent, if um, what's going on with him this week. By the end of the week, hopefully, we're just waiting on the breeder to respond about the shipping. But um, he's a beautiful boy, and I'm thinking about naming him Jaeger because I love Pacific Rim. And Rachel had a name. Um, that she's very fond of as well. That kind of goes along with the Pacific Rim theme. So, but I'll let her announce that. So, I'm, I'm thinking about naming him Jaeger. Um, if you like it in the comments, post yay or nay. But this is, oh yeah. And the, another big news. The female from um, Serbia will be happening probably by the fall. I'll be getting her. And she's a black brindle, very pretty girl. But this is what's been going on. Lots of exciting news. I missed you guys. Look at the dogs. They hear my neighbors. I miss you guys. And I'm going to be getting on more often now that I've gotten a lot of things taken care of that I need to get taken care of. So, other big news, I purchased new privacy tarp. So, this ghetto mess right here will be coming down very soon. Um, I am vertically challenged because I'm only 5'2", so I'm going to have to get help <laughs> to get the new privacy up. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna stretch all the way over there by the chicken coop. It's gonna go where it is now and midway at the road there. Since we have a lot going on, I want the dogs to be able to focus on me so we can do the training. I don't want reactiveness at the fence, um, which is a very easy thing for them to do because um, it's a corso. Look at Jade. Jade and Kuma. Achilles is a traitor, you guys. He left me. He's he's in the mountains right now on vacation. So I I got her and I have him. Um, what's her name? Hydra, aka Scoobs, is a traitor as well. She didn't want to come home. She's still with Morgan. So which is fine. I have so much going on that honestly, a little bit of a break is. Um, good because it's about to break loose around here. It's so funny how y'all are getting to watch how this kind of works. You know, as a breeder, you go from having nothing to a whole lot of something going on. Just a matter of a few weeks. So, just to recap for everyone. Yeah, these guys, like I said, they will be four weeks tomorrow. Um, we have... Well, we have two blacks. I'm sure, for sure, we have two black girls. Um, let me get my counting right. So, we have two blacks. 
um, I think it'd be six black brindles and three brindles. Is that right? Let me see. I, I might be off by one, but, um, yeah, it's just a whole lot of them. My math is horrible. So we have two, two brindles. No, 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 not, no, two blacks. Three brindles. Three brindles. When I say brindle, I mean like this guy right here. That's a girl. She's, she's just gorgeous. I am sorry for all the brindle haters out there, but the brindle dogs have been some of the best dogs I've owned corso wise i mean they just they always end up being like as far as quality some of the top quality very um nice looking dogs very nice looking dogs you know we're gonna bring brindle we're gonna make brindle sexy again not because i have brindles just because as a breeder it's just something that i've noticed and it's not that i haven't had other colors i've had blues and litters blacks and litters for you know uh, formantinos and litters and yeah i've had just about all the colors but i always end up keeping i even had a very exotic looking red fawn i mean she's fire red i have to post i'll post her on instagram her name is phoenix um and i i bet your dollar you have not seen a ginger corso look at him what an ass <laughs> trying to be dominant oh my god jade ought to light him up but yeah i even had an exotic ginger red um corso which would have been like a red it's a red fawn but super red super red i have to post her and um she's like boy what are you doing you better look she's she's serious you see when the ears are very erect and she's kind of side eyeing him and walking around him. She's like, boy, you better stop. She knows he's a puppy, so she'll just kind of bully him instead. <laughs> she's so funny. She, she's such a good girl. So I had it was a sister, a sister litter mate to Jade and Aria, and I kept her back um, along with Jade, and then just off of structural differences. I decided to keep Jade. So for me, it's not, I think the, the, the quality of the dog makes the color real sexy, but Phoenix is a real sexy hot mama. Uh, actually, her owner will be getting a male out of this litter. Oh yeah, see, look at the, look at the baboon booty boy, which is his white booty is disappearing. It's fading out. It's not as white and as large as it was. But I wanted you guys to take a gander at these beautiful heads. I think they're going to have some real typey heads. And these, this litter here is like, hold on, the mother is Jade. So um, this litter right here represents some of the oldest lines there is in Cutty Corso. Like the oldest. So, um take a gander at this is a very very old blood type of breeding and I'm very excited for I mean for those who are on this litter and I still have a female available so if you're interested you can go on my website send out an application um, but look at that see what I was saying about the brindles look at the structure She's huge. She always stacks herself out. I am keeping a female from this litter. If I don't, I, this this girl right here might be a keeper for me. She is fantastic. Um, but of course, we have to wait. We do our evaluation and picks at uh, six weeks of age. I may delay it by a week. I'm not sure. Um, every line grows differently. And this is a very old, old, old lines on, I mean, like on all four lines, meaning like, um, like Jade's parents and then the sire's parents, very old blood. So what I know about each side, look, he, he is a real piece of freaking work, man. Real, real piece of work. Um, so, 
with that being said, they are, um, each line grows differently. So I noticed some of the coma. I mean, what a piece of freaking work. Um, so what I mean by that is, um, if some lines grow faster, some are more slow developing. I like the slower developing and that's what I have in this litter. So I may delay pickings by like a week, but I have to see. I have to see where they are at six weeks because it's the only fair thing to do. It's the only fair thing to do. It's so important that we pair up the puppy with the right home. And those of you that have my puppies, you know how I do it. A lot of you, I know all of my customers are happy with what they have from me. So we like to take our time and make sure that the selection process goes the way it needs to go. And I get what I need out of the litter. I'm telling you, man, that Brindle girl, she is something else. She is something else. But I gotta look, I have to look at all of them. Because, I mean, I've, I've picked them all up individually this week and just have taken, like, look, look, really good looksies at them and just trying to see like which one oh, but that little girl looks good too she's a black bundle she looks really good too this little girl they all look good i'm just saying like the qualities that i'm looking for as a breeder but just look at her just that is a gorgeous freaking puppy just even Rachel was looking at her and she's like, oh my god, this is the prettiest bristling I've ever seen. It's exotico looking. It's very exotic. It's th This is rare. <laughs> no, it's not rare. But but it's a very unique um, type of brindle and I really like it. I really, really. I have a brindle boy. Both boys ended up being brindle in this litter, which is... Um, but one's like a brindle, more brindle, and one's like a black brindle. So, you know, I love it. I love it. So hopefully you guys love it because I love it. But anyway, you guys, I wanted you to see the babies, the swamp monsters is what we're calling this litter. And I will get with you guys later. Hopefully you love the news. So we have um, three litters on the way. We have... Um, the new female from Custodinos in Serbia coming, adult female, and yeah, we have upgrades coming to the yard. So anyway, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.